Hello there everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Disgaea 5 Complete. Now, let me start off by saying, I made some stuff ridiculously overpowered. Speci specifically Vakona. Vakona now has the Yggdrasil, which is the rank 50 weapon. Which is basically the best weapon in the game outside of Land of Carnage. Or I think this is the one that goes right before the Land of Carnage variant, I forgot how it works. But I've leveled it up to almost level 200. It has 900 statisticians. On top of that, she's getting a crap ton of EXP. It has 740 tutor, 946 master. So look at the intelligence she's gained just by holding the staff. Nearly 20,000. She is well off into, you know, end game territory. Now, what I do need to do is reset this. Yes, I'm gonna put all this stuff into special skill mastery for now just because I want to get some of these skills leveled up a little bit faster Also, I'm gonna turn down some of this music. This is a little loud in my ears We're gonna just do that. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I'll take that All right, you know what? No, music needs to go a little bit lower um, Background music. There we go. I'll take it at two now Last time, like to go, dude? we were off to fight Laharl. So, Legend Begins, Hall of Nirvana. Let's go here. I don't like it! Don't you yell all of a sudden. My ears are ringing. Besides, what don't you like? That guy's attitude! He's a demon, but he apologizes so easily. Doesn't he have any pride as a demon? Who cares? The netherworlds are vast. You're bound to run into some oddballs. I'm gonna just leave the auto scroll off because it scrolls past the horror real fast. I care! That has that half-assed demon picked a fight with me! An overlord! If I don't do anything about it, it's gonna tarnish my title as overlord. I have to face him. Where did he go? Thanks for waiting. Here, have some of this. What is it? A dragonfish, caught in Brinical Bay and marinated in white wine, used to top my special dragonfish aquapasta. Okay. Wow, that looks delicious. I don't want it. Do you not like the ingredients? Or are you allergic to something? No, I came here to settle our fight. I'm not here to eat. Oh, about that. Like I said, I don't mind if you just say that I lost. I can't accept that. Fine, just shut up and follow me. Where are we going? To my overlord castle. I can't relax in a place this shiny. I'll settle this at my castle. Prince, I don't think it's a good idea to return to the castle right now. Why is that? It's better than this cramped place. But let's just go anywhere else. If Sicily found out you were being reckless, she'd be sad. Ah, leave Sicily out of this. I, the Overlord, can't have decided. I'll fight this guy at the castle. I've already made up my mind. Let's go. I never said I was going. You want to make up for what you did, right? If you don't follow me, I'll take it out on random netherworlds. <sighs> I have no choice. Oh man, poor Kelia. Uh-oh, they're going. What should we do, Master Etna, dude? Oh, we can't not go. Oh yeah, please take that food home for me. And if you take a bite, you know what'll happen to you, right? Yeah, dude! I know the gist of it, dude. Yeah, dude! Looks like we both never have it easy, dude. 
<laughs> Poor Brainies. Even across different nether worlds, it's the same crap. Oh wow. I'm back. Brother! Yep, she said it all herself. Laharl's back already? What should we do, Flan? Sicily, I'll buy us some time. In the meantime... Here I go! Got it. Please do with what you have. Or please do what you have to do. I don't know what that was about. Ugh. What is going on here? You better not be teaching Sicily anything weird again. Please don't say it like that. We're doing it for you. For me? Never mind. P uh... You're not doing it right. You suck at lying. But anyway, who is that person you brought with you? Are you talking about me? Wow! Nice to meet you. My name is Flan. Yeah, my name is... There's no need for introductions. This guy's gonna be ground into dust. Move it, Flan. Yeah, Laharo, we should go defeat this evil duo together. It's time for Unholy Justice Flan. What? <laughs> what? She's trying to do her own transformation sequence. Well, this heart of justice of mine is burning red. Its loud roar tells me to defeat evil. Now, together, Laharo. Didn't you hear me? I said move. Uh, Cicely, I couldn't handle the pressure. In that case, we have no choice. Here I go! This is all for love, too. We need you to leave the Overlord Castle. Okay, I guess we're just fighting Laharl's minions. What's with you guys? Laharl, I'm sorry. This is all our love for you. Oh, no. I don't understand. Damn it. Somebody do something about this love freak. Prince, we should just fall back for now. No. As the overlord, I can't get myself kicked out of my own castle. <laughs> They're all going against me. They better be prepared for what's coming to them. Everyone, let's get him, but make sure he doesn't get hurt. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, great. So we're fighting with Laurel this time. Right? Laharl's in here? No? What? Just, just one lone pretty. Wow, okay, this is really interesting. So, these are actually the characters for where they're supposed to be, so... What's crazy is they actually put them in their spots. So, this is Meaver, the Dimension Guide, and this is actually where she stands in-game. Well, actually, it's closer to here, but whatever. Uh, yep, this is the item world. The item world. Alright, you're a random zombie that was actually in game. The memory shop is there. The cheat shop, well, it's in this direction anyway. Same thing with this one, it's in that direction. The data shop was somewhere down here. Oh my god, they even stuck the weapon shop and the general store there. Hey, wait a minute. You're one letter off from my name, back off. But they actually have people with close enough names. Holy hell. It's actually really cool. And they stuck them almost where they're supposed to be. And then the hospital is actually, I think, back here. But close enough. It's actually really good. This is really well remade. Really well remade. I approve. I like it. All right, so let's bop her on the head. Let's go. Let's bop this one on the head. Ooh. Almost. Can't one-shot you there. One-shot you here. All right, uh, sticky fingers. Also, this was definitely a JoJo reference. I just haven't had the chance to redesign her yet. Victory bullet has been learned. Nice. I can do it. Take this. Out of range. Trick. Well, it was me. Well, it was me. Here I go. Speaking of the actual JoJo reference, 
Um, oh yeah, I didn't show you guys. I have a whole bunch of new characters. So obviously you saw my two thieves up here. Sticky Fingers and Nami. And then, let me go back all the way to the bottom. I have Nagisa here, which is my new angel. Jojo Reference, which is an imp. <laughs> uh, okay, I, I, I made a joke name for this one. Also from Hentai, the Orc Master. Usagi, which is, if I remember correctly, Japanese for rabbit anyway. Uh, Tinkerbell is my pixie. From a hentai, which is the slime, because everyone... You all know where this is going. And then I got a Catman, I got Mothra, I got Ripper the Zombie, Toad 2.0, Aluru, which is a reference from another anime, uh, Everyday Life with Monster Girls, Neferepitu, which is obvious if you watch Hunter x Hunter, Ranamon, which is one of my favorite Digimons of all time. Not Ranamon, Ranamon. Uh... You know where this is from, because this is definitely not from a hentai. It's 100% a family anime. Uh, Nina, Full Grizzly, which is the best dubstep song I ever heard back in, like, my middle school days. Bahamut, as in Bahamut Sin, or, you know, all the Bahamuts, like... Actually, you know, I'll just let Barrett take it away. And finally, after years of anticipation... Bahamut Hots 3. And I got my Ninja Diner Dash, which is my diver for the item world. Which he has actually screwed me over a few times because I wasn't paying attention to the level that I was in. And of course I have Majorita there. And Selty, Okami, Brave. And yeah, that, that about sums everybody up. So we're gonna go with wait, no, we're up here. Return to Dracula. Now there's a good reason why I actually have new monster classes, and that's because mastering all the classes is actually vital to uh, maximum character level of 9999 with maximum stats. Ooh, so that's what the effort looks like as an axe. That looks really cool, actually. Marda. Ooh, oh, that looks sick. Throw the whole dragon at him. Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! All right. Well, you're still gonna die though. Goodbye. Sorry, Meaver. Or er, Florence. Meaver is the item, the dimension guide. All right. And there's a nomination. Get punched. But before you get punched, get punched by him, and then get punched by him. My other side. Are you bring you it, Combo. Bada boom, bada bam. Oh, perfect. So that means you get to move freely. All right. And then there's a pretty way back there. Who's the training dojo guide? Uh, I wonder if these guys actually have anything worth stealing. Uh, memory shop. What do you have? The Eclipse Wand, Fenrir's Fang. That's new. Three Year Killer, Hatchery Armor, Death Strip. Hmm. Nothing I really need off the top of my head. I mean, I'm still gonna steal some stuff though. Alright, that's out of range. I think such a Ching Hand. Yes. I'll be taking that from you. Thank you. Awesome hand is in there. Ooh, there's a dragon force in there. Okay, so I didn't even make it up to eight. Oh, hey. That's not good. Yikes. I was going to steal that from you, but I guess I can't now. Can I actually steal anything now? Yep, nope, I can't. So let's just put you back. I'm gonna steal it from this chick instead. Hi! I think you had the three year killer on you, right? Yeah. World's slowest concho, which I don't really care for. This, however, I do. I will steal Death Script. Dracula, I need you to just wop the floor with these guys. Wop. <laughs> 
All right, let's see. You're going to be lined up here. I wonder if this can actually reach. Well, that won't. That definitely won't. Nope. One square off. One square off. This can. Oh, that attack drop must have been actually really strong. Hmm. There. That or these guys need a real bad reincarnation. Glamorously invincible. But yeah, so the reason why I made two more thieves, even though I already have a thief, is solely for the fact that I want to be able to steal more items other than once per turn. Um. I'm side. Hi. Let's see. Because in the item world, you do get a lot of chances to get good items. But you need to actually have, you know, somebody to steal those items. I can do it. Some dude. My other side. That is hilarious. There. No! Dude. No! Dude. Kill the Brinny. And last but not least. You can stop. do it. Come on. I'm getting real tired of your shenanigans, my dude. <laughs> Only one may live. There we go. Uh, Alright, whatever. Lori surrendered. Do not skip the demo. Wow! Uh, we lost. Forgive me for letting you down, Sicily. Now, tell me why you're doing this. I can't. Why, you? Damn it, move! I'll go back there and ask Sicily myself. I won't move. If you want to get past me, you'll have to defeat me first. I hate to break it to you, Flan, but we just defeated you. You don't have to take it this far, don't you think? Etna. Now, what are you going to do? Wait. She must have some reason for taking it far. Why don't we fall back for now? I won't allow it! Hmm. <laughs> Thanks for the help, mysterious stranger. And you let your guard down, Laharl. The flan you just defeated was the weakest of all of us. Even if you defeat me, there will be a second and a third. What anime trope is this? What the hell? Flan, that just sounds something more like what the villain would say. Wow! So, Laharl, be prepared! Don't make me laugh. What could you possibly do? Summon Succubi? Do it. Here I go! I'm going to do this! What? Huh? Why me too? <laughs> wow. Justice always wins. This is pretty fun. Um, okay. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait what does that say? Emma Zombie? <laughs> oh no. Uh, I won't forgive that love freak. I'll show her. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. The most evil throne. Okay. What was I talking about before that? Because that had me on a riot. Um, Mind fart. Holy hell. Um, oh yeah, why I had more thieves. So, item world gives you some really good items. You just have to have somebody that can actually steal it. So, rather than just having one thief, I figured having three and then having them possibly be my divers would be great. But then I was like, you know what? I'll make the ninja my diver. As soon as I master out his class, he has a skill. Or a mass uh, skill. An ability. Yeah, excuse me. An ability that gets him five movement speed. Or gives him an additional five movement. Why did I say movement speed? Jesus. Gives him an additional five movement at the cost of only having one HP. Which for him is fine because he's going to have buttloads of speed anyway. So he should be dodging everything anyway to begin with. So... I have that. Well, once he actually gets to that level, he'll have it. And then I'm going to get items called accelerators and give them all to him because those are some of the best movement items in the game. Give you a crap ton of jump, 
and movement. They give you plus two movement. So sticking three of them on him plus the ability that he has gives him plus 11 movement plus his base five, I think. So he'll be at plus 16, so he can go really far. Don't bother me. We're flying in Sicily. Aren't you his servant or something? Shouldn't you stop him? Why? This is way easier. Plus, I might get an opportunity to stab the prince in the back. He's got his hands full too. He's got servants surrounded by servants that can't let his, his he can't let his guard down around. Jesus Christ, I can't read. That's common in the netherworlds. You're the weird one, in my opinion. Betrayal is expected of demons. What are you lagging behind for? Hurry up and come over here. Okay. You got it, Prince. Well, if I didn't care, I wouldn't hang out with him. Welcome back, big brother. Ugh, my voice cracked. <laughs> Welcome back, Laharo. I can't read their voices ever. What's wrong, big brother? What do you mean, what's wrong? Brother! Huh? What is it? Why do you look so mad? Could it be that we went too far? Flan, you are a knucklehead. Huh? Flan, what did you do? <laughs> now prepare yourselves. I'll teach you all a lesson. Wow! Uh, you don't have to be mad. That goes for you too, Etna. I will beat you down. Flan, I'm sorry, but you know I have to pay you back, right? Huh? What are you talking about? Why is this happening? Get a taste of Shut up, Sisley. You're gonna have to be punished too. Now I'm gonna crush you. Alright, so we've pretty much run into the whole cast of Disgaea D2, which is the sequel to the first Disgaea game. Although it didn't come out in that order. So Disgaea games came out in a really funky order. There's Disgaea 1, 2, 3, 4, D2, and then Disgaea 5. Now you might be wondering why I didn't play any of the other games. Well, because, first of all, this Gaia 2 sucks, in my opinion, anyway. I personally don't like it. It feels really bleh. Wow, you guys actually have some really high stats. Holy moly. Volunteer Savior. Oh, God. She's using her, her transformation. Alright, so that's a spoiler for this Gaia D2. Ooh. Angel power! As you can tell, she's a bit on the whole love kick, Come on. hence why she's known as the love freak. I'm just gonna use only Dracula for this, because this will just speed it up. My other side. Yep. So that's her revenge Sensei! skill, then. Come on. Does she only stay transformed while in revenge mode? <laughs> Doesn't matter, she's still dead. Do Alright, Flan, I'm sorry. You're adorable. We all love you. But you gots to go. <laughs> My other side. Don't. But yeah, Disgaea 2 sucks. Disgaea 3 is fun. Disgaea 4, a lot of people like the most. And then D2 is the sequel to Disgaea 1. Wow, that is a cool looking skill. Now, the only reason I didn't start with Disgaea 1 was because I was really excited to play this game. I had just bought it. So I was like, yes, let's go. But I do own Disgaea 1. It's actually on my computer as well. Uh, for Disgaea... I own Disgaea 3, 4, and D2 as well on the PS4, PS3. I bought a bundle that had all three of them. But... I don't have a, a rendering device to actually record that with, so can't see that yet. Uh, I'm sorry. Why was I involved? That's for putting me in a box and shipping me out. 
but you haven't even been punished enough yet. Calm down. These two must have had a good reason for doing that. It's not too late to hear them out. Hm. I won't calm down no matter what their reasons are. Were. Whatever. You don't know that. You two. Can you tell us why you did all this? I understand. Etna? Sisley? Fine. Wait, Etna was involved on this? Yeah, okay. When you get pranked? Etna? You too. Well, yeah, Prince. Here I go! Ready! What's going on? What are you trying to do? It's his birthday! Well, Harl, don't you know what day it is today? I can't read. Nope! Now stop holding back and tell me! It's your birthday, big brother! Which should mean it's her birthday too, I think. Birthday? So what? What does the day I was born with have anything to do with all this? Damn it, I don't get it! Hurry up and tell me! Oh, you dingleberry. It seems that in Celestia and the human world, they have a weird tradition of celebrating people's birth... People's births. Whatever. That's not it. A birthday is a day where you should be thank the person for being born on that day. It's very important. I mean, kind of. So we thought of celebrating your birthday, big brother. We wanted you to be happy. I planned it with Cicely in secret so that we could surprise you. But we didn't finish in time. And we couldn't set up things with you around, so we asked Edna to help with that. You don't know how much trouble we went through. I had, I had to cause a bunch of trouble to keep you out of the castle. And those demons who were trying to pick a fight with me were... I pissed them off so that they'd pick a fight with you. <sighs> you guys! Let's do this! Here, big brother. Happy birthday. I baked you a cake with lots of sugar. Will you try it for me? Damn it! You didn't have to do all this! No matter what your reason is, it doesn't change the fact that you guys are disrespecting your overlord. But... You should thank me! It was for me, so it's not that bad. I'll make an exception this time. I'll forgive you. Big brother! I love you, big brother. Hey, don't get too close. You're suffocating me. It doesn't seem like you mind. Shut up. Hurry up and get her away from me. very much for helping us earlier. I didn't do anything to be thanked for, but next time you should come up with a better plan. This was too extreme. All right, thank you very much. Wait. Oh God, I, I dropped his octave like 10 times. Do you still want something from me? Of course, did you forget the reason why I brought you here? We still need to settle things. Oh yeah, that's right. Wow! What's going on? Could it be a duel? What a heated situation. Also, Flan loves anime, so she she reads everything in the whole hero villain tropes. Did something happen between you guys, Big Brother? By the way, who is he? Killy has yet to announce his actual name to these guys. I was just getting to the good part. Be quiet. I would like to settle things right now, or right away, but I'm too exhausted today, so... Rejoice! I'll make you my vassal! Holy hell! Overlord Law will make you his vessel. Hey! As a result of being Laharl's vessel, Kilia became allies with Etna. As a result of being, okay, allies with Flan and Sicily as well. Okay, so they're now all in our squad, I guess. What are you trying to do? <laughs> I 
won't let you just leave. You stood up against me. But if you're a vassal instead of my enemy, then I don't mind forgiving you like I did these guys. Plus, if you're a vassal, then I can fight you as many times as I want. What a great honor. I can't do Laharl's voice. Do whatever pleases you. By the way, I never got your name. What is it? It's Kilia. Kilia? Kilia, huh? Well, I'm the strongest overlord, Laharl. <laughs> you better prepare yourself, Kilia. Alright. So now, if I look. Hey, I got the squad. Overlord, Vassal, Fallen Angel, and Laharl's sister. These are actually their titles, too, in their other games. That's nice. Do I get any events with them? Probably not. It'd be cool, though. Let's do another special content shop. Yep, 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 yep. Receive content. So we already did this scenario. Oh my god, girl Laharl. I forgot, that's the thing that happens at D2. Oh, she just automatically becomes an Oh, okay. Okay, so if it says character, you just automatically get them. Celestial Hostess. Okay, so if I go here. Girl Laharl, Overlord, question mark. Yeah. Yeah, some things happen in D in D2, and Laharl becomes a chick. And Laharl does not like it. Like, at all. Jesus, the stats are actually pretty stupid. Overlord's Dignity, increases damage dealt by 20 when attacking. Increases stats by 10 every time the enemy is defeated. Oh wow, they have different variations of the same skill. Interesting. Oh wait, does that mean I get to see them around our, our netherworld here? Okay, yeah, I do get to see people around here. Alright, can I talk to them though? Let me see, does, does Flan say anything important? Here I go! My name is si Or Flan, Sicily. My name is Sicily. I may not look it, but I'm Laharl's little sister. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Yeah, I'm not gonna spoil the plot of that game, but that is accurate. I'm definitely gonna have to Let's Play D2. Like, D2 is... Any game with Laharl in it is honestly one of my favorites. Like, the first Disguy was the first Disguy game I got into, and I loved it every minute of it. That's the one that had the irritating final boss for me. Oh, Etna. Hi there. Huh? Shouldn't I be with the prince? I don't want to do something that tedious. Oh, man. Oh, God, the girl Laharl. My big boobs are getting in my way. My shoulders are sore so easily. Oh, yeah. That's a... That's a that's a thing. Um, where could Laharl be? Oh god, no. Laharl, where are you? <laughs> oh my god. Where's Laharl at? Jesus, I'm I'm all the way up here looking for people. All right, whatever. We're gonna, we're just gonna leave everybody alone here for now. If I see Laharl later, I'll talk to him. Where would you like to go, dude? Oh wait, I gotta unlock the other content. Back up. Let's go back. <laughs> yep. More scenarios. Alright. Scenario for Disgaea 4, Valvatoris and Fuka. Oh man. So got the D3 or Disgaea 2, Disgaea 3, Disgaea 4, okay. So let me just grab all the character stuff first. Pretty magic. Magical Pretty became an ally. Pretty stamina. H252 Pretty became an ally. Poor Clever Pretty became an ally. Bringer? Question mark? Became an ally. N2 Pretty became an ally. Bunkai Pretty. If you if you use them in your challenge runs, you might be able to beat the game with only Prinny. I love how it says Bankai Prinny. If it doesn't hit, then don't worry. Martian Prinny. Okay. Tyrant Prinio. Value your life. If he doesn't care about his allies, he becomes an ally. If you use them in your challenge runs, you might be able to... Okay. Gift of Hell. You know what? Might as well grab that too. Now, let's see. Nisa. 
As in, Nippon Ichi Software of America. Ah, the Kunoichi. The female ninja. Alright. From the Witch and the Hundred Knight, the Swamp Witch Metallia will join. I'm not sure where that's from. But I have her now. Sorcerer. Ah, that's from D2. Alright, so that's every character in there. Ah, uh, whatever. Wow, these are all starter weapons. I wish I'd gotten that in the beginning. Whatever. Alright, so let's do Valva Torres. A new netherworld has been added to the dimension guide. And a whole bunch of save icons. So, we'll do the Valva Torres episode you and like we'll to go, just dude? chill for now. The Prinny Coach. A message was sent to Hades about those who are lazy and greedy. Beware. Hades' return. The souls of humans who have committed crimes go to Hades when they die. There they are turned into Prinnies and then trained to act accordingly. After Prinnies pass the Prinnies Instructor's Training Regimen, they are shipped off to one of the other worlds or Celestia. They will face a lifetime of manual labor to pay for their sins. But there is one day when Prinnies get to relax and warm their hearts. That is Sardine Day. Today we're getting the sardine curry we've been waiting for, dude! Do it, dude! It feels like we've been living just for this day, dude! Yeah, dude! Let's get some right away, dude! If someone sees it, they might try to snag it from us! Yeah, dude! Let's dig in, dude! Hold on! I just saluted out of reflex, dude! Could that person be in this pocket netherworld? It has to be some kind of mistake. Lord Valvatoris! The pretty who spoke last, step forward. Do it, dude. Me, dude? Repeat what you just said. Do it, dude. Eek, I just thought it had to be some kind of mistake. Get out! Fool, you didn't include the word dude in the line you said. Pretty rule number one. You shall always include the word dude in every line you say. I was just so surprised, I forgot. I'm sorry, dude. The quality of printies is going down. That must mean I'm failing as a printing instructor. All is for my lord. There isn't anything wrong with your training, my lord. It all depends on the quality of the souls. The previous batch of printies that were sent off had all had rotten souls. Hi, dude! That's taking it too far, dude! Impossible, dude! Eek. But that simply puts my abilities as a pretty instructor to the test. Very well, I've decided, Fenrir. <laughs> we shall put these printies through the re-education program. That's not fair, dude! I only forgot to say dude once! Permission to resist me? Even if it was only Denied. once, you forgot the most basic part of being a prinny. There's no excuse for that! All is for my lord! Stay quiet and obey your orders. You know what'll happen if you refuse, right? Damn, they sacrificed him. All I ask is you take this dude, dude! You have no camaraderie, dude! Take this, dude! As long as it doesn't involve me, I don't care what happens to others, dude. All is for my lord. What are you doing? My lord said, Prinnies. That means all three of you. But, but, but he was the only one who forgot to say dude, dude. All is for my lord. You were all shipped out with the same batch. It obvious, it's obvious that you all need re-education, doesn't it? Oh god, I read that wrong. That's tyranny, dude! That's not fair, dude! It's all over, dude! Stop complaining and let's go, dude. Don't you dare say that to me, dude! Bernice? Where are you taking those printies? Yahoo, dude! Helia!
So you're these guys' master. My name is Valvatoris. I'm a printing instructor from Hades. Don't be late! My name is Fenric. I'm Lord Valvatoris' lord, loyal steward. My name is Kilia. So, what business does a printing instructor have here? Please allow me to explain the situation, my lord. <laughs> if I can read. We received a report that a certain batch of printies that were shipped out were too low in quality. The printies in this pocket netherworld came from that batch, so we're here today as part of an inspection. The results were disappointing. I need to train them even more. I'm sorry. But do not worry. I, Valvatora, shall re-educate these printies. Then these printies will surely work even harder than they do right now. Re-educate. We will teach them down to the bone so that they understand what a pretty status is. Kilia, please help us, dude. At this rate, we're gonna end up in Hades again. We'll change our attitude, dude. Any, please, anything but re-education. Hear them out. He dismissed them from the re-education. That isn't possible. These printies must be put through the Z, the Zeti Printy Project. The Zeti Printy Project? The re-education program that can turn even one rebellious printy into an exemplary one? Now, be obedient and follow me. <laughs> then we'll take them by force. Now you see, Valvatoras is also another overlord. Of course, every Disgaea game, you're playing as an overlord. Except for Disgaea 2. You actually don't play as an overlord there. So, <laughs> bop you out of existence real quick. Ooh, yikes, I don't want to stand there. I think this song is actually from this, from Disgaea 4? Now the thing is, I haven't actually beaten Disgaea 4. I literally only made it through chapter 1. But that's because I wanted to save it for actual Let's Plays. Let's steal your sword, because I want that sword. Thank you. Uh, Swamp Witch Metallia. Metal Justice. Twilight Elemental. World is Metallia's. Wow, she has all the spells too, Jesus. To protect game industry! <laughs> oh god, she said to protect game industry. Grandma told me that Nisa is all about being daring. Oh my god. Alright, so she's a gunner. I'm gonna leave her in there for now. Um, hmm. I'm gonna train these guys up later off screen. Land decimator. Oh wow, it's actually starting to hurt my people now. Yikes. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Oh, that crit on you. That's actually really bad. Let's just put you away now. You can do it. Nice. Okay. I'ma just do that from a distance. <laughs> Nobody can bother me from here. Thank you. But yeah, so with Disgaea 4, you play as uh Valvatoris, who actually is the printing instructor. He also was an overlord at one point. He got disgraced or something. I forgot. He basically ended up saying, Alright, I will choose to be the printing instructor and I will do my job the best as anyone can. Go. So he only has, you know, a fraction of his former powers. Defense plus 200. Yikes. Alright, let's see. Ally boost 50. Turbo 6. No entry on green? Okay. Go. I'm gonna do this and make sure that everything pops. Hmm. 
Go. Go. I can't. Go. Cause all those blues are over there. If I grab one of these blues, maybe. Toss a blue under red. What the? Is that even a thing I can do? Let me see. Alright, now I'm here to grab the treasure. Gonna have to walk over here real quick. There. Gonna Go! throw this over there. So let me see. I gotta make it so I blue pops on something. So if blue pops on this, it's gonna turn them all to yellows, then to reds. Oh, but wait, I don't have a green one. Okay, so something needs to be on green besides this clear. Uh, if I put red on green, all greens will turn to red, then all reds turn. Okay, so how about we put this blue on a green square? Alright, I got an Let's idea. go! I just have to throw a chain it that way. Now I can use. Taste my justice! No, not you, Nisa. I can do it! Yep. Let's go here. Hoi! My way! Almost. I got five more people, right? So let's use. Diner Dash. Hmm. Return to darkness. I use Dracula to throw Logan. Or better yet, no. I'll throw you I use Logan. Oh, but wait, Dracula can't be lifted. I will never run away I'll throw anymore. You there we go. I'll do this. This is an interesting strategy that I've now developed. So as long as I don't I'll move Logan out of the base panel, I can actually just infinitely throw people. Yeah. But now I can throw chain on two. I can just walk instead. Throw you there. Oh, I can't throw onto green. Hmm. Ah, crap baskets. Okay. And if I can't throw onto green, then that's kind of pointless. Actually, wait a minute. Can I lift that off of green for a minute? Go. Now that's off green, can I put that on? Yes. Okay, so now. Right there! You! Throw you over there. Throw you over here. Throw you, or make you walk over there. Throw this. Alright, so that's there. Yes. That's fine. This is an okay. Ow. Great. Oh wait, no entry still. Go. Alright, let's throw this Go! in there. Undo your action. Okay, 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 okay. How am I gonna do this? Uh, let's put you back in here. End turn. Oh! Ah! 
house. Oh god, you broke the stupid thing. That's not what I was supposed to happen. You jerk. You goofed it all up. I hope you all die. There. Man. Goofed it all up. I had it going. I had to mess it up for me. Alright, land decimator. Wow, oh, these guys are actually really strong. Tyrant flu it hurts. Yep, you missed. All is for my lord. Vanagar. My teeth and claws can pierce anything. It hurts. <laughs> Love how my pernies are actually just there in the background. All right. Yep, become tyrant Valvatores. Wait, and de control defeated enemies? What? Oh wow, that's actually a really stupid skill. All right, hurts itself. Basically, my read on crack. Sardines. Oh yep, he has a thing for sardines. I forgot about that. Sardines. Take it this. Hurts. How about it? Go. Oh, it's for my lord. And your lord has been defeated, buddy. It hurts. Go. Yep, that's cute. That's cute. That's cute. Take this, ninja. Still missing, buddy. There we go. Defeated. Those guys do way too much damage. All right, we're not skipping the demo though. Hmm, you're pretty good. <sighs> This is the power of a pretty instructor? I can't believe it. There it is! I'll show respect for your strength. What do you mean? It means that I'll excuse these pretties from their re-education. My lord, are you sure? We're saved, dude? But there is an exception. Kilia, I want you to take several tests. If you pass all of them, then I will dismiss the re-education. If you fail, then the printies will be shown no mercy. It will be put through our Zetai Printy project. I just have to pass these tests, right? That is correct. If you can, then I'll forget about the re-education. That's I promise you. Casually making promises again. Kilia, is there a problem? No, I accept the challenge. <laughs> hmm. Very well. Then I shall need to get ready real quick. Fenric, let us go back for now. For my lord. All is for my lord. Kilia, thank you very much. I haven't saved you guys just yet. Do it, dude. With you on our side, Kilia, we're gonna be okay. Now, let's go back and eat some sardine curry, dude. Alright, so. I mean, I'm probably gonna end up playing through all these Disgaea games anyway, except for two, since I don't have a physical copy of it. This is the place. I've been expecting you! So, Kilia, you've arrived! Great. Can we just start the tests already? Hmm. Hmm. If you're ready, then let's begin- Mr. Vampire. Oh, sorry. Artrina? I actually didn't meet her yet, so I don't know what she sounds like. What do you want? Our lord is very busy right now. He doesn't have any time for you. Is this okay? 
You don't have to be so mean. I found something interesting. Or should I just keep it a secret? Hey, can you start the test? I've been... Wait, dude! We finally found you, dude! Now give it back to us! What are you guys doing here? Damn it, dude! We chased the angel of avarice only to end up here! Hey, dude! That angel stole our curry, so we came to get it back, dude! Nay! Stole? That makes me sound bad. Oh god, I mixed her, her voice with the pretty voice. I simply... <laughs> I simply confiscated it as a retribution for all the damage you've caused to Celestia through your own negligence. Which means I collected it fair and square. Yeah, dude! Just give it back, dude! You don't want to see the horrors that manifest from grudges that involve food. This is gonna be expensive. Hmm, I guess I have no choice. It would be much easier to settle this if you had the money to, than to pay what you owed. Follow me, everyone! Very well, I'll take you on. Do it, dude! Wait a second, dude! We only have business with that angel! Impossible, dude! We have no desire to fight you, dude! You guys made it this far, but it's time to give up. What do you mean, give up, dude? She might as well have taken our lives! Listen while I play you a night. Now! Let the test begin! Alright, so what do we got going on here? Absolute area for red, so I can't walk that way. Green is enemy turbo, which leads me to assume they're not going to walk off of it. And the prince are surrounding her. Where's the red one at? Oh, so, interesting enough. You see how I can't go any further than this and there's the conveyor belt back there? In this game, there's actually some maps where you can actually get up there. Where's the red one at? Oh, the red one's just right there on the red one. I just couldn't see it. What the? Alright, well, whatever. Let's just bop these guys out of existence real quick. Where are you? Looks like I have to go. Oh boy, I didn't go heal after this. Ooh. Go. <laughs> Alright, well that killed someone. Return to darkness. Don't <laughs> get super reckless. What the? Yeah, for needs to do about as much as I expected. We're just gonna stand you right here, real quick. Boom. Can I use target movement on target? Okay. Why? Lovely Cupid, Angel Glitter, increased stats of adjacent male ally units. Can't fool me in thief protection. Okay, so I can't steal from you, and you can't be lifted, but no file damage from... Uh, wait. So you can't be poisoned either. Okay. Yeah, that's rather annoying. It's a rather annoying skill you got there, you know? Archangel, deliver the swirling evil to the pure truth guided by the Mother's holy light. Good lord, could that speech have been any longer? Ha! For such a fancy attack to miss, I find that comical. So I can't lift her, I can't move her. Yep, nope. Yeah, can't use attack movements. We're just gonna Terra Star her again. Bye. All is for my lord. And since these knuckleheads want to stand there, that's fine by me. I'll do this. Wow, that's not gonna do squat. Okay. Why 
other side. Good chunk of damage. Sunny. All right. Tepesh nightmare. Die. That's all pitiful. So you see the thing is Take this. Remember I told you this guy got disgraced? It's because he's the original Dracula. At least that's how it's important. My other side. Goodbye. He's like some uber powerful vampire god. Alright, I'll take care of that. Not skipping the demo. You've passed the first test. The first? There are more? Yes, you shall be taking another test. If you can pass that one, then I'll fulfill my promise. Alright. Nay! The pretties who followed me all fainted. I'd feel bad about eating it if they were truly willing to pay. Just throw the curry away. Kilia, was it? Who made this curry? I did. Got a problem with it? For my lord! Lord Valvatores, I have an idea. Then speak up. This curry has sardines in it. With this, it's possible to consume many sardines at once. Hey, that was what I was trying to tell him when I arrived. Shut up, woman. I'm speaking to our lord right now. Jeez. So what are you trying to say? Hm. Why don't you make Kilia your personal chef? Why are people just assuming Kilia is, like, doing things for them? Vassal, chef? Then we'll be able to eat more sardines than usual. You never cease to amaze me, Fenric. Artrina, great find. And your promise regarding the Prinnies, I would like you to amend it slightly. If he loses to you on the next test, he must become our chef. How about that? Kilia, did you hear that? I already made a promise to you, so if you object, I won't add that stipulation. My lord, please don't say that. It's only fair that if you put something at risk as well, All right, I accept. Bet y'all weren't expecting that. Yeah, dude! We won't let you take Killia, dude! Can I have a raise, That's dude? right, dude! Oh, wait, that's a new one. Can I have a raise, dude? That's right, dude. We need Killia on our side. You guys. Yeah, dude! We'll be in trouble if we can't even near sardine curry, dude! Do it, dude! Kilia equals sardine curry, dude. You guys. You guys stay out of this. Yeah, dude. Yeah, our lives are more important, dude. Wow. Y'all punked out after that. In fact, you guys can take Kilia so you can spare our lives, dude. What the hell, guys? We'll hold the curry on. On to the curry for now. My blood is starting to stir in anticipation of our next battle, Kilia. I'm I'm just butchering these voices today. Be prepared. Be prepared. Seems like this is gonna be tough. Yeah, no duh. Alright, I'm actually gonna heal first. Let's fix you up. Let's see the royal ring. Oh yeah, these things. I forgot they're in here. Where would you like to go, dude? Nope. The pretty coach. Final trial. Would you like to replenish your strength before the fight? Yes, I would. 
I'll take some too. Doesn't the aroma of the spices seem stronger than before? Hmm. I added a little more so that our lord may enjoy it even more. It's unbalanced. I bet you it tastes like garbage. I was starting to get tired of waiting, Kilia. Valvatores. My lord, wouldn't it be okay to have a bite before starting? I'm fine for now. By the way, Fenric, can you go over the stipulations again? Of course, the stipulations for this test are if you are able to defeat my lord, then we'll excuse the Pernice. But if you lose, then you'll swear to become... You'll swear loyalty to my lord and become his chef. Have I missed anything? No, I'm ready to start. Is this okay? Mr. Vampire, are you okay? He's very strong. Like Mr. Werewolf said, you should have a meal before you start. There's no need to worry. After I defeat him, we'll have a nice relaxing sardine party. Follow me, everyone! Now, this is the final test. I'll take you on with my full strength. <laughs> Bring it on. All right, level 900, holy moly. Thank God there's a lot less enemies on the screen this time. Looks like I have to go. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I had decimator. Return to Dracula. Drop in the big boy bombs. <laughs> like it, like it. Tepesh Nightmare. Okay, okay. Oh god. Sanzu River Falls? Wait, wait, is he gonna do the Death the Kid thing? Oh no, he's not. Okay, he just threw me in the river. It was gonna be like the sounds of the fall shop that I realized he's not using his gun. It wouldn't really make sense. Come on. Hmm. Alright, let me move you real quick. We're just gonna annihilate this chick. I don't need her acting up. You're about to die. It hurts. My other side. Die. Demon Emperor. Yeah, if I remember correctly, that used to be his full name, Demon Emperor Baldur. Yikes. That was actually some damage. That's a lot of damage! Alright, let's see. Lightning Sword, is that the tip? Yup. <laughs> what? Why do you heal? Okay. Sardines! Sardines! Is he back to Valvatoris? Yep, back to Valvatoris. The dunk dunk. Alright, that takes care of that. No demo skippage. Hmm. Crap! It's not over yet! Stop, Fenric. But, my lord! At this rate, we're going to lose. We have already lost. 
This was our chance. Mr. Vampire, please drink my blood. What are you talking about all of a sudden? Mr. Werewolf is trying really hard so you can regain your powers. And I don't know what kind of promise you and Mr. Werewolf made together, but you need power to accomplish it, right? Oh yeah, that's right, he's sworn off blood. I forgot about that. That's why he eats only sardines. So please, drink my blood for Mr. Werewolf. I cannot break a promise. Alright, Trina, I have not yet seen your face tremble with fear, so I cannot drink your blood. Fenric, I will fulfill our promise. I will not turn back on my promise we made to the moon. The promises I made with you guys are very important to me. I will fulfill them. That's why I can't change a promise now. Kilia, you won. I shall excuse them from being re-educated. Let me thank you. I'm fine with that, but is that really okay? It's not a problem. Tell the printies that. Yeah! Dude, hey, we're saved now, dude. Now we can eat our curry in peace. Can I have a raise, dude? Let's dig in, dude. Oh, that line again? Hi, dude! It tastes different than usual, dude. It smells very fishy. <laughs> you said you added a little more to it. Did you perhaps add human blood again, Fenric? Don't be late! It was a subtle gift for my lord who lost his magical power. Do you not approve? So that's why the aroma of spices were so strong. You were hiding the smell of the blood. Instead of putting human blood in the sardines, you hid it in the curry. Pretty clever. All is for my All lord! Is Okay, you said it for me, thanks. I understand. I was the one who told you to do as you pleased. You are a splendid steward. That was a very clever strategy. Why are you going out of your way to do that? If you're a vampire, why don't you just suck people's blood? Mr. Vampire doesn't drink blood. Don't you think that's weird? Don't call our lord weird. But then, how do you replenish your magical power? Sardines! The enormous amount of nutrients packed in sardines builds up my strength. My body is powered by sardines! So that's why that werewolf mixed human blood into the sardine curry. Hey, Valvatoris. How dare you address my lord like that? It's fine. What is it, Kilia? It must be hard for a vampire not to suck blood. If you'd like, I can prepare sardine dishes for you every so often. Wow, what an excellent offer! But, are you sure? Just think of it as my way for showing you gratitude for dismissing the printies from their re-education. Plus, if my cooking can help you, I don't have a problem with it. Then it's settled! Kaylee has been appointed the Printy Instructor's Pocket Netherworld employee. They became allies of Avatores, Fenric, and Artrina. The printing instructor's pocket netherworld employee. Yes, I told you those fights were tests. We can't have low quality printies running around. But if there's someone who can coach these printies, then that's a different story. Those tests will determine whether you'd be fit to be a pretty instructor. Oh god. This should be good. I'll come by to periodically to check on their progress. While I'm there, I'll come enjoy your cooking. Hmm. I can't keep up with you. What's so funny? It's nothing. Hmm. You're a unique demon. I don't want to hear that from a unique vampire. Even their hairstyles look the same. Sky of Four, Valvatora's part clear. Sardine curry is now available at the curry shop. Oh, cool. So now they'll start showing up in the Netherworlds, too. There's Nisa, there's Etna. 
Yeah, no. The red scarf is the sign of justice. Go easy on the video games. Make sure to enjoy rest and take meal breaks. You'll enjoy them much more if you follow my advice. Thank you, Nisa. God, there's so many people in my netherworld now. Holy moly. This pocket netherworld is packed. This is awesome. Sure, dude! Yeah, dude! Rip, Prennies. Alright, so now that I got all these people in my netherworld now, that's actually really cool. Alright, uh... I'll leave Thanks, it off everyone. at that, though. Thank you. Let's see. What, what am I doing here? Uh, let, let's edit the netherworld up a little bit. Let's let's change it up. Let's mix it up. What do I got? Oh, so I can just move people where I want. Well, that's pretty neat. So I'm guessing the solid ones are the ones that are always going to be there, and then the shadows are the ones that are always going to be changing. Okay. Alright, alright. Place a 3D object. I don't have any 3D objects. Place a character. Facility characters? Oh, so I can just... Oh, this is interesting. Fashion manager. There's a fashion manager? Resident characters. Okay. Revert. Um, how do I leave this? That's fine. Exterior. Oh, okay. Spirit internment, poison dice. The Munchroom, Isaac Hell, Dragon Fang, San Kano, Scorching Flame, Toto Bunny, De Gaulle, Flowerful, Gorgeous, Dark Demise. Oh, this is so cool. So I can just remake my Netherworld into whatever I want. Oh, I can change up my Netherworld effects. Awesome. Uh, I'm actually going to use this. That's actually really important. Class proficiency up. Honestly, I like Dark Demise and stuff. Let's do this. What's my core gonna be? Scorching Flame. The Outer. You can stay Dark Demise. the aerial. I'll do that. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Save. Yes. Yes. Delicious. 3D objects. Oh, I can buy stuff here. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Buy everything. Everything. I'm actually probably gonna end up doing this off screen. This is a lot of crap to buy. Terrain patterns? Oh my god, I can buy terrain patterns. Oh my lord. Oh, this is so sick. Oh, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna have a field day with our nether world now, boys. But yep, yeah, so we're gonna leave this off here for today. Hope y'all not there, thank you. There we go. Hope you all have a great day, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed Let's Play Disguise 5 Complete so far. We've got a few more of the special content shop to go through. Hi, Fenrir. Go! Fenric. Let's see, what do we have left for the special content shop? We have Disgaea 4 again. So we got Fuka. Then we got Disgaea 3, which is... This one takes place in a school, which is weird. Mao is the school president or the class president. And he's like, he has to be like the worst student. Like, well, by human standards, worst student, but that's their model student. So I have to go there and do that. Then there's Almaz, which is another one. Uh, then we got Disgaea D2, which to me is the worst. Which has Adele. Uh, and then we got the badass freaking overlord, Zeta. 
Uh, we got this from La Pichelle, which I have actually never played. I've never played Makai Kingdom either, but I know it's part of the same series. Like, it's in the same quote-unquote universe. Uh, so we got, what? One, two, three, four, five, six scenarios left for that. And then it's just the regular in-game play stuff. So we've already fixed the Toto Bunny. So what's left after that? We got Research Mysterious Netherworld, Pursue Powerful Energies. I gotta do these two. And then there's Super Overlord Ball, which is gonna be a nightmare. But that won't be for a while. But other than that, guys, this guy maybe has like seven, eight episodes now. Because I didn't realize the scenarios were going to be that long. But other than that, guys, I hope you all have a great time. I will catch you all here next time on Let's Play Disgaea 5 Complete. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and give it a like. Hit that thumbs up real quick. And leave a comment in the description. And leave a comment in the description. Leave a comment below. If you haven't liked, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, go ahead and do so. Hit that notification bell. So that way you're always up to date with whenever I drop new episodes. So, hope you all have a great time, everyone. And I will catch you all later.